it's Alex from Risk Academy. Today I want to talk about risk quantification. And I wanted to share with you two messages. Message number one. Risk quantification, I personally believe, is the only way to talk about risk. Unless you can quantify in terms of dollars or in terms of budget an impact of a particular risk or a group of risks on the overall objective, you will have very little arguments to really have a seat at the board table and get involved into the decisions. You have to have the science behind your risk communications that you're trying to share with the rest of the, the, rest of the business. So risk quantification is a must. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And there are two ways. The second message that I want to share, there are two ways to quantify risks. And uh, they can be both used at the same time, but I personally prefer one over uh, the other. So there are two ways to quantify risk. Way number one is to create a separate model that will show explicitly how a particular set of risks will impact on the overall decision or the objective or the company strategy or company liquidity. Um, and that's one way, creating a separate model dedicated to analyzing how risks impact on objectives or a particular objective. That's option A, let's call it. Option B is integrating risk analysis inside existing models. So take the budget model or a financial model for an investment project or a project schedule or a project bu budget or a project cost estimate and integrate risk analysis using specifically dedicated tools for that into those documents. Now option B is a little bit harder because you have to take somebody else's document with all its inherent problems and you know little small mistakes and errors and formulas and fix it up and make it suitable for the future risk analysis. Now the unfortunate thing is most of the existing models, most of the existing budgets or schedules are pretty high level and not granular enough to allow proper risk analysis so they have to be fixed first. So option B is a little bit more time consuming but I think personally it generates so much value by showing how existing tools can change, can be changed with risks uh, integrated into them. And we, in this sort of overall spirit of integration, risk analysis into the business process, into the key, de key decisions, I think option B is by far the most preferable one. So option A, creating by yourself your own um, risk model, taking input from different business units to make sure it addresses uh, the actual business uh, scenario or option B taking existing budget or existing schedule or project cost estimate and integrating risk analysis inside using specific tools that add to Excel or Microsoft project or any other software that you're using like Primavera or, um, or, or other project management, uh, uh, management tools. Uh, my personal preference is option B I would like to hear what your thoughts on that are, what are you using in your day-to-day -day activities and uh, if you're still using uh, you know, heat maps and uh, risk registers, uh, do watch this video, uh, I've, uh, I've shared my thoughts on that previously already. And uh, I welcome you again to sign up for Risk Academy channel on YouTube. For now, thank you and goodbye.